Western intelligence agencies suspect that main directorate of the Russian intelligence sent incendiary packages that caught fire before they were loaded onto planes in Leipzig and Birmingham cities in Germany and UK respectively. The incidents occurred in July. The packages containing incendiary substances somehow passed security inspections. German authorities warned this week that a plane could have been downed if the devices, which were both sent by air, had ignited in flight. German intelligence service chief Thomas Haldenwang told German MPs the package would have resulted in a crash if it had caught fire mid-flight. According to the intelligence services, the purpose of such actions is to intimidate Europeans and create chaos. The incidents with parcels came after MI5 boss Ken McCallum warned that Russia is intent on causing mayhem on UK streets. The security agency's director general said Britain should expect to see continued acts of aggression here at home from Russia, with its military intelligence agency, the GRU, on sustained missions, adding, we've seen arson, sabotage and more. Brandon Fried, executive director of the Air Forwarders Association, which represents the air freight industry in the US, described the incendiary bomb incidents as disconcerting given the suspicion of Russian state involvement. It looks like the goal is simply to disrupt the supply chain, create havoc and simply to scare people. They want people to lose confidence in the system, Fried said, adding that the industry had developed robust and evolving security procedures since September 11th attack. Russian President Vladimir Putin praised the joint GDP of BRICS countries, at a plenary session of the bloc's business forum in Moscow Friday. Putin noted that the total GDP of the members of the BRICS Association is more than $60 trillion and that its total share in the world gross product confidently exceeds the corresponding indicators of the G7 group. The alliance, with a stated aim of counterbalancing the Western-led world order, initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa but started to rapidly expand this year. Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia joined in January, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Malaysia formally applied, and a number of others expressed desire to join. According to the results of the current year, the average rate of economic growth in BRICS is projected at 4%. This is higher than the rates in the seven countries, there it is only 1.7%, and then the global rates, the global rates will be 3.2 percent," Putin said. The Russian leader also toured an exhibition of the Russian Direct Investment Fund dedicated to cooperation with the BRICS countries at the forum. In the next few days, Putin will be shaking hands with two dozen world leaders, including China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi, Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Iran's Masoud Pazeshkian at the BRICS summit in Kazan. Officials in Moscow are already touting the gathering in Kazan as a massive success. Putin's foreign policy aide Yuri Ushakov said two weeks ago that 32 countries confirmed participation, and 24 of them will send heads of state. Putin will hold around 20 bilateral meetings in Kazan, Ushakov said, and the summit may turn into the largest foreign policy event ever held on Russian soil. <laughs> Дамы в последние десятилетия свыше 40 процентов прироста глобального ВВП всей мировой экономической динамики приходилось именно на государство БРИКС. По итогам текущего года средние темпы экономического роста в БРИКС прогнозируются на уровне 4 процентов. Это выше как темпов в странах семерки, там всего 1,7 процента. И общемировых. Общие мировые темпы будут 3,2%. Ну, прогноз. Владимир Путин, fellow BRICS leaders, distinguished guests, make outlook for South Africa.
growth forecasts for the next two years. Platform for such cooperation. It makes it possible for us. We strongly encourage investors from BRICS countries to seize the opportunity. <laughs> что вот эта модель соинвестиций, она резко позволит нарастить именно акционерное финансирование по активности искусственного интеллекта, то мы видим, что именно фокусируясь на различные вертикальные... Мы эту долю рынка на мировом рынке для людей с инвалидностью занимаем. Мы исходим еще из...